Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we are looking at Hall of Fame quarterback Troy Aikman of the Dallas Cowboys. Relatively certain that a viewer actually did request this for a video, so we are coming at you guys today with this particular player in Troy Aikman for the creation tutorial. Now, when you talk about Troy Aikman's legacy, a lot of people don't give him a lot of respect because of his pure passing numbers. You look at his career passing yards, not even 33,000 career passing touchdowns, only 165 and 141 total interceptions. So really didn't put up crazy numbers at all in his career. If you compare him to the other grades, had an NFL career passer rating of 81.6 and completion percentage of 61.5 but ended up winning a solid amount of games in 94 total games one and obviously three super bowl titles of the dallas cowboys three in four years that is and also was a six-time pro bowl player but really what gets missed out when you talk about troy aikman is how great of a player he really was when it came to crunch time in the playoffs uh, particularly the super bowl game but in the playoff runs that he had where he actually went on to win the super bowl ended up passing for 17 touchdowns and only four interceptions with over 2,000 passing yards in those three years that he ended up winning the Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys. That was 92, 93, and 95. So Troy Aikman really helped his team out, obviously, a lot during that time. And he doesn't get a lot of credit because of how talented his team was. And although the Cowboys were talented, Aikman is often considered you know, one of the key pieces obviously along with Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin but because of the fact that he was really the guy leading it and Emmett Smith and, and, and Michael Irvin both give him a bunch of credit for that especially Michael Irvin if you ever tune into NFL Network and how he discusses uh, his relationship with Troy Aikman and how things worked out as a wide receiver quarterback connection in Dallas in those days so Troy Aikman really underrated player and in Madden doesn't ever get anything too crazy in terms of his pure ratings but that's just how it's going to be he didn't put up numbers to warrant the ratings probably that I think a lot of people who are Dallas Cowboy fans would would want and you can watch uh, NFL Network's top 100 players and they do a Troy Aikman segment and they sort of go into uh, Troy Aikman and how you know people really didn't get to see his true potential because of the fact that you have you know a system where you're really basing off of the running game you know Emmett Smith is a guy they got a ton of carries throughout his career you know that's a huge reason why he is the all-time career leader in, in NFL history in terms of rushing yards you know there's a big reason behind that they ran the football a lot so that takes away a lot of attempts for Troy Aikman to try and uh, throw it downfield and try to attack and a lot of the offense is based off of play action deep shots off of that run action so you know, that's that's kind of Norv, Turner, Norv Turner's forte. It ended up working really well because they were able to run the football extraordinarily well. But, again, the credit to Troy Aikman is lost when you run a type of system like that. So uh, you can just tune into a lot of stuff like that and really figure out how things worked if you weren't part of that era like myself, obviously. Uh, but going into the actual equipment for Troy Aikman and Madden, pretty standard. Uh, I think I ended up changing the width and height or of the pads, the wristbands on both the hands are there, and with the cleats, I think we go with just again the traditional Pintos or Nike vintage uh, 70s and 80s. And the face mask, I think, was a two bar, and we have two uh, slides of face paint, I believe, on both sides of the face. And I think that about concludes the equipment right there. But we look at his ratings now. Again, nothing too insane. I am going to try and bump it up pretty solid because, uh, again, I, I don't like to, you know, give people, you know, too poor of a rating, especially Hall of Fame quarterbacks. So we give Troy Aikman pretty nice ratings all around, uh, as it is well deserved, especially with, you know, what he's able to do with Dallas. Uh, pretty incredible. And I love discussing quarterbacks and making them. And I was kind of surprised. Again, there's some players that are uh, really shocking to me that I haven't done yet. And Troy Aikman was definitely one of them. So hopefully all you Cowboys fans out there are satisfied after me completing this video. It was pretty fun to make. Uh, and obviously Emmett Smith has already done. I've done him a while back, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he actually hasn't been done. He may not have been done yet. But we have Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, and I don't know for sure if we have Emmett Smith done. But that actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos. Obviously, I'm going to continue to make these in the future. NBA roster breakdowns have just begun, so I wanted to filter out some of these Madden player creation tutorial videos as we try and transition a little bit, and we'll mix it up a little bit with more of these um, in time. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and yep, thanks for watching.